आम संतोष आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री स्टडी ऑफ हॉल इफेक्ट फ्रॉम कोर्स नंबर पी एच वन वन जीरो फिजिक्स लेबोरेटरी कोर्स फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द प्रोसीजर एंड देन वन कैन कलेक्ट डेटा फॉर फर्दर कैलकुलेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी विल रिक्वायर एन इलेक्ट्रो मैगनेट a constant current power supply a digital gauss meter and hall effect setup one stand for placement of sample and one sample for its observations the first step of this experiment is calibration of gauss meter this is hall probe from gauss meter we have to gently slide it then a sensor will appear here which will go inside the magnetic field and measure the exact magnetic field there for calibration of gauss meter this sensor is away from magnet and in the multiplier of 1 we have to set it at 0 now it is at 0 we placed this hall probe in it's stand properly now it will go inside the magnetic field the gap between magnetic poles is kept 1 cm the hall probe is placed in middle of that the flat surface of hall probe must be parallel to the poles as we can see the red wire is connected with red port and black wire is connected with black port and this will be considered as forward biasing this constant current power supply will provide current to electromagnet so that magnetic field will be generated as we can see we haven't given any current but the gauss meter is reading 45 gauss this is due to retentivity of electromagnet now we will increase the current from this constant current power supply so that magnetic field will increase inside the magnetic poles and then we will adjust the gauss meter at 2000 gauss that means the magnetic field between the poles is 2000 gauss and we will perform our experiment at that much magnetic field now in the gauss meter multiplier 10 is selected and the display is 200 means 200 into 10 that means 2000 gauss magnetic field is achieved now now we will perform experiment with hall sample these readings will be for positive magnetic field and after completion of positive magnetic fields reading we will reverse the biasing from constant current power supply again we will perform the experiment with 2000 gauss with the negative field for now the gauss meter's job is over so we will switch it off and now we will do our experiment with hall effect setup it should be noted when we have set the magnetic field at 2000 gauss meanwhile we should not disturb the constant current power supply This is our experimental sample. Its serial number is seven six two two, which should be noted. We can see this sample has four pressure contacts. This sample is rectangular in shape. Lengthwise direction we will flow current, and the widthwise direction we will obtain voltages that will be Hall voltages. This red wire is for current positive terminal black wire for current negative terminal yellow wire for voltage positive terminal and green wire for voltage negative terminal this is hall effect setup it has an offset adjustment knob here current adjustment knob here current ports and voltage ports and one selector key we can select it like this when this is in current mode we can get the current value in the milliampere range and when it is coming in voltage mode we will obtain hall voltages here 
we will connect yellow and green leds in the voltage port red to red and black to black in this hall effect setup and at this time we will use offset adjustment to set it at zero now with this adjustment it is at zero be careful at this time no current leds are connected now current leds are connected red to red and black to black and we have increased current at 2.6 milli ampere at this current we will check its voltage we can see we are getting a zero volt here it means the alignment of contacts with the sample is perfect now we are placing the whole sample in its stand we will place this whole sample inside the magnetic field in this manner we have to take care that positive of current is here and positive of voltage is downwards and in this way it will go inside the magnetic field as we can see in our laboratory manual there are eight columns for voltage reading it can be reduced if we take care of its placement we can reduce four columns of voltage that is negative of v's if we put the sample in the whole experiment in the same manner it means we are not going to flip the position of whole sample in any time as we can see there are eight columns four for positive magnetic field and four for negative magnetic field we can omit this v3 v4 and here v3 v4 of negative voltages if we place the whole sample in one manner throughout the experiment the new table will look like it we will perform our experiment starting from 0.5 milli ampere and we will go to 3 milli ampere and in that range we will take 10 sets of reading the experiment sample is now placed inside the magnetic field we can see the plus of current red one is connected to red port and minus is connected to black port means this is condition of plus i and similarly the voltage port is connected accordingly so voltage is also at plus v current in the sample is 0.5 milli ampere right now at this time the voltage is minus point minus 3.7 milli volt at the same current of 0.5 milli ampere we will flip these current ports means red is connected to black now and black is connected to red now so it is the condition of minus i and this is condition of plus v so at this time we are getting 3.4 milli volt for second reading the current is at 0.7 milli ampere with plus i plus v condition at 0.7 milli ampere the voltage is minus 5.2 milli volt we are getting minus i with the voltage 5.0 milli volt at the same current of 0.7 milli ampere current is set at 1 milli ampere voltage here is minus 7.4 in positive i mode this voltage is obtained at 1 milli ampere with negative i mode now the current is 1.4 milli ampere at this time the voltage is minus 10.3 milli volt in positive i mode this voltage is at 1.4 milli ampere in negative i mode current is 1.8 milli ampere 
voltage in positive I mode is minus 13.3 millivolt. This voltage is obtained at 1.8 milliampere in negative I mode. Current is 2 milliampere. This voltage is obtained at positive I mode in 2 milliampere current. At 2 milliampere, we are getting this voltage in negative I mode. Current is 2.2 milliampere. Voltage is minus 16.2 in positive I mode. We are getting this voltage in negative I mode. Current is 2.5 milliampere. In positive I mode, we are getting minus 18.3 millivolt. This voltage is in negative I mode. Current is set at 2.7 milliampere. We are getting this much voltage in positive I mode. This voltage is obtained in negative I mode. Current is set at 3 milliampere. We are getting minus 22.1 millivolt in positive I mode. This voltage is obtained in negative I mode at 3 milliampere. Now we will take our observations in negative magnetic field mode. For negative B, we have to flip the connecting ports of constant current power supply. For that, first we will decrease the current at its minimum, then switch it off and then we will reverse these two with vice versa. Now the red port is connected with black one and black is connected with red one. At this situation we can switch it on and with the increase of current again we have to set the magnetic field at 2000 gauss with the help of gauss meter and gauss probe. As we can see 2000 gauss in negative field magnetic field is achieved now. We will perform the same way experiment in this magnetic field. The experiment sample is placed again in the same manner. We are starting our voltage reading in negative magnetic field direction. The current is at 0.5 milliampere, and at this time we can see the hall voltage in positive I mode is 3.5 millivolt. In negative I mode the voltage is minus 3.7 millivolt. Current is at 0.7 milliampere. We are getting 5.0 millivolt in positive I mode. We are getting minus 5.3 millivolt in negative I mode. Current is current is 1 milliampere. In positive I mode, we are getting 7.2 millivolt. We are getting this much Hall voltage in negative I mode at 1 milliampere current. At current 1.4 milliampere, voltage in positive I mode is 10.2 millivolt. This voltage is obtained in negative I mode. Current is 1.8 milliampere. Obtained voltage in positive I mode is 13.0 millivolt. We are getting this voltage in negative I mode. Current is 2 milliampere. Obtained Hall voltage in positive I mode is 14.5 millivolt. This voltage is in negative I mode. Current is 2.2 milliampere. Obtained Hall voltage in positive I mode is 16 millivolt. We are got getting minus 16.3 millivolt in negative I mode. At 2.5 milliampere, obtained Hall voltage in positive I mode is 18.3 millivolt. We are getting minus 18.7 millivolt in negative I mode. Current is 2.7 milliampere. 
obtained hall voltage in positive i mode is 19.7 millivolt we are getting minus 20.1 millivolt in negative i mode current is 3.0 milliampere we are getting this voltage in positive i mode in negative i mode we are getting this hall voltage we have collected 10 sets of data for positive and magnetic fields both now i will show you how to recognize the type of semiconductor to recognize the type of semiconductor we will use left hand rule but first we have to take care about the connections as we can see the constant current power supply is in forward biasing mode means red is connected to red port and black is connected to black one in the hall effect setup current ports are forward biased and voltage port is all also forward biased means reds are connected at red and black is connected at black as we can see the positive terminal of voltage port is downward in this sample adjustment and current's positive point is here as we can see here is a mark that in forward biasing mode this pole will be north and this pole will be south and magnetic lines will be in this direction now we are placing our experimental sample inside the magnetic field in this manner according to left hand rule this will give the magnetic field direction this will give the current direction and this will give the voltage direction we are considering this point as origin at this time we can see the magnetic field direction is aligned with this finger and the current direction in the sample is aligned with this direction and type of sample will be considered with the direction of hall voltage here if we get positive hall voltage in this direction means upward from origin then this will be considered as p type semiconductor otherwise it will be n type but keep in mind that positive terminal of the voltage is downward there means if we are getting negative voltage in this direction in this particular situation then this will be considered as p type so let's check it with the help of our hall effect setup we can see we have given some current to the sample and now this will decide the type of semiconductor we are getting negative voltage here that means this type of semiconductor is p type further this information will be helpful for your calculation that the sample number used is 7622 row value means resistivity is 6 ohm centimeter you can uh, you can uh, take its reciprocal as conductivity which will be used in your calculation d is thickness of the sample which is 0.5 millimeter with the help of laboratory manual and the collected data one can calculate hall coefficient carrier mobility and carrier density thank you